of the Sam Lifecast. Today, we're making spring rolls with these super thin papers. Yeah. Not deep fried, not crispy, light, uh, super delicious, really fresh, perfect for 800 degree weather, <laughs> which basically it is outside. Um, there's a lot of, of sort of pre-prep involved in this, so I got that done. Let me just show you what we have. For our fillings, we're going to be using shrimp that I poached, right? Oh, it's still with a little bit of shell on. How did I do that, Max? I don't know. Gone. Uh, some salmon that I had left over from the other night. Black bean salmon that I make. Recipes on the website. It's delicious. And then for the additional fillings, I've got thinly sliced red pepper, cilantro, uh, obviously super thin little matchstick uh, carrots, some... Napa cabbage, also called Chinese cabbage, and just some leaf lettuce. You can use any of these. You can use all of these. But we'll start by making just a quick little sauce, right? So traditional that you have a little dipping sauce with these things. And we're going to make ours hmm, hmm, out of just two ingredients. One will be hoisin sauce. Use it all the time, and the other one will be shit. I don't mean shit. I mean, not on cookie back. Oh, there it is. Chili garlic. Chili garlic. Made by the same people that make sriracha, right? So here's all this is. There's just no place to start this. There should be like a... Yeah, that's always so annoying. Why can't they... I just use a knife. Oh, you're going to break your tooth. I just use my teeth. Oh. <laughs> then there's this. Okay. So here. This. In this bowl, we'll put uh, three parts of this beautiful, thick poison. Then we'll put one part of the chili garlic. And we'll mix. Hoisin is a traditional uh, dip for these fresh spring rolls. The chili garlic gives it just a nice little heat, nice little bite. Beautiful. All right. That's done. That will go on our plate. Our plate will come here. Now we have to deal with these guys. And these guys are really simple. It's a really easy process. Uh, I need uh, sort of lukewarm water in this bowl. While it's getting hot, I'll just rinse off that. Make Max crazy in the process. Must you be doing that? So give yourself a big bowl that you can slip these guys into. We make these one at a time. Okay, so now. The only other thing I need to do is I need to prep some of these shrimp. So you don't want the tail. So we're just going to pull the tail off. Just a couple of them, or three of them. You could put them in whole, but I find them a little bulky. So I just like to cut them, butterfly them, so they're a little thinner, right? Just like that. There you go, all right? Okay, we're good. We've got that, we've got salmon. So, now here's how this works. Open your pack. This is one that I've used before that I just vacuum sealed. To keep them fresh. Apparently I did such a good job of resealing <laughs> it. I can't get it back open. So look at these guys. Look, at, look how super thin they are, right? 
Can you see me? Mm -hmm. You see my hand through them, right? The process goes like this. I like to take a towel and put it where I work because I don't want this thing to stay wet. So these go in and they don't need much. You know? Maybe, maybe 10 seconds. You see what's happening here? Yeah, it makes it so you can manipulate it. Right. So off comes the water. They go in here. Now I do this. When I want to see the shrimp, I'm going to put the shrimp face down first. Okay. So now, what else do I want to put in here? This will give it a little red pepper because that's nice. I'll throw a little bit of carrot. Look, all these fresh, crispy vegetables are really a great way to go. And this guy will just do with a little bit of that. And I like cilantro in all of these. So just a little cilantro on top. And now it's kind of, uh, it's kind of burrito time. So you take the thin wrapper, you roll over the top. Oh, work with me here, man. Work with me. You try and fold the sides in. I'm not doing this on a towel the next time. It has just dried it way out. And then you just roll over and the thing fucking breaks on you. So there the you towel go. was a mistake, but it still came out. Right? So there you go. Okay, so maybe not the prettiest one in the world. Let's do one with salmon, right? Yeah. So we're going to give it a little less time. And watch what we're going to add to the salmon this time. Okay. Here's what we're going to add to the salmon. We'll take and we'll put some salmon down. Just like this. Good? Yeah. The salmon's going to get a little lettuce and... Here, check these out. Ooh. Some of these thin glass noodles that all I've done is I've just soaked them in uh, boiling water, poured boiling water over the top and left them for about 20 minutes and then rinsed them. And now we'll put a couple pieces of nice crispy lettuce in here. And I do like the cilantro always. So let's give it some of that. So let's try this guy. Edges over. Roll this guy up. And there's a the salmon on. One more? No more. Max says no more. <laughs> but look how easy it is. So look. They're beautiful, they're shrimp, they're salmon. You could literally put anything you want in these things. Make them all vegetable if you want. The point is, buy yourself a pack of these things and just start playing around. Julie like, uses them for everything. I'm not the, I'm not the most, uh, I don't have the most finesse when I do these things, but I love to do them and it's really fun to have a bunch of ingredients out and just let your friends do it. Take the heat off of you, you do the prep, you have a fresh, spring roll party with all kinds of stuff. You invite people over. It's a wonderful thing to do. And then it's this simple. A little dip. Not messing up the sides. Max. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Look. Mine are not the most beautiful ones in the world. But damn it, are they good. And you talk about Talk about your basic healthy eating. There's no bad here, man. Suppose if you ate a thousand, that could be problematic. But I'm not going to eat a thousand. Neither should you, and you shouldn't eat the same thing all the time, and you shouldn't eat shitty food. That's it for the live cast. We'll see you next time. Please come back, won't you? <laughs>